Merry Christmas! Around this time of year, we really like to have a buttery toffee as just something to nibble on. So that's what we're going to make today. Welcome to Southern Glance with Gail. It's about Christmas time and one of our favorite little sugary snacks is this buttery toffee. It kind of reminds me like the Heath bar that you might buy at the store, but this is just so much better. It's not as hard as some of the toffee that I've tasted. So this recipe is actually, I found it on the internet because I kept trying to find something that was really good. And this one was so simple to make. It just has three ingredients that we're going to cook on the stove. It has the almonds on the bottom and then chocolate on the top. Now you can put almonds on the top also, but we're gonna to get to that also. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to prepare our pan that whenever we cook this stuff, we're gonna prepare our pan so that we can just put the toffee straight on there. So we've got some almonds. This is about one cup, maybe a little bit more of almonds. These almonds are just natural almonds. They haven't been cooked, they're just whole almonds. I did stick them in the oven for about eight minutes or so on 350 degrees. And now we're going to kind of chop them up. Now you could easily just do it with a knife or whatever, but I wanted to have fun and we're gonna use a processor, a food processor. So we're gonna just dump these in our food processor. We're gonna grind them just a little bit, not very many seconds at all. We're gonna watch them and we want them to be kind of coarse, so not really fine. And there we have it. That's just about perfect. I've got this parchment paper that is what I use to put the almonds on to roast them. So now I'm just gonna be very lightly buttering this, just very lightly. That's all we need. And I'm gonna put this right in this pan. This is a nine by 13 inch pan, just like a casserole pan. Now, if you want thinner toffee, you use a thinner, I mean a bigger pan. And I'm gonna just dump this. I'm not, I might not use all of it. But I'll just kind of space it out a little bit. I've got some extra just in case I wanna put it on top of the chocolate whenever we get through with it. So we're gonna set that aside. Now we're gonna get ready for our chocolate. This is just, it's 11 ounces of chocolate. This is milk chocolate by Gira Deli, and this is four ounces. So I actually had to buy two of these, that makes eight ounces. You can use the semi-sweet chocolate, you can use milk chocolate, you can use whatever chocolate that you want. I like milk chocolate, so that's what I'm gonna use. I've already cut up one of these bars, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the other bar too. So we're just gonna, I'm not gonna use the food processor for this because I wanna have a little bit more control of my chocolate. Now we're done with our chocolate. Now it's time to start cooking on the stove. Come on over. We are ready for the toffee part of this. We're going to start with a saucepan that's probably about a half a gallon or so. And then we're going to put in one cup of butter that's been chopped up. And we're going to mix it with one cup sugar. Now you don't have to stir all the time, but we're going to just stir just a little bit to get it going. Very gently. And we've got it on medium low heat. You do not want to cook this fast but it only has two ingredients, one cup butter and one cup sugar. Now, if you're gonna use salted butter, then don't put salt in, but if you put, if you use unsalted butter, go ahead and put in a little bit of salt with this. So I'm just using the salted butter. It's about coming to a boil. So now we're gonna add in our candy thermometer. We've been stirring it every so often, very gently. So let me stop stirring it and I'm gonna show you this candy thermometer. 
It has this little ridge on the bottom of it that protects the bulb from touching the bottom of the pan. It has a little clip on the back side of it so that you can just attach it. It's in Fahrenheit and Celsius. So we're gonna stick that in. We are gonna have it touch the bottom, but the bulb is not touching the bottom, just that little ledge. We're gonna stir it a little bit more, very gently. And we're gonna wait until that candy thermometer reaches about 290 degrees. And then we're gonna take it off. The candy thermometer is now reading about 283. Once it reaches 290, then we're gonna take it off the heat immediately. I think that's about it. We're gonna go ahead and take it off the heat. And we're gonna stir in just a little bit of vanilla, probably about two teaspoons full. And then we're gonna just pour it right on top of our almonds. See, doesn't that look wonderful? Now all we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of pour it on in strings. We're gonna try and cover all the almonds. We're gonna just tap it a little bit. We're gonna let it sit just for about a couple of minutes. Then we're gonna put our chocolate on and we are done. Okay, now if I switch it like this, very gently or like this, it's just barely moving. I'm gonna go ahead and put this chocolate on here. And just kind of sprinkle it all around. And the heat of the toffee is going to help with this um, melting of the chocolate. We're gonna cover this just for a little bit, for a, cu a couple of minutes, and then we're gonna spread it. All right, I think it's ready to spread. And let's just see, oh, look at that. That chocolate is spreading so nicely. Some parts are not. Let's get those over there. This one is, it's just really nice. Now with all these extra little pieces, what we can do, look at this, it looks really, really good. The extra little pieces of the, the almonds, we can just sprinkle right on top. You can either have it just plain chocolate or with the almonds. And now it's done. But we need to let it set. You can put it in the refrigerator for probably five minutes or so and then take it out and break it. When you break it, we're gonna just take it all the way out of the parchment paper. So I'm gonna let it set in the refrigerator for about five minutes and we'll be back. Okay, we have gotten our toffee out of the refrigerator and actually it's taken a lot longer than five minutes because of the chocolate. So anyway, just make sure that it's all done and now we're ready for the cracking stage, which is kind of fun. So all I'm gonna do is take this whole parchment paper out. We're gonna get rid of the pan. And now we're going to just break it apart. And I hope the chocolate is done enough. So all I did was just break it with my fingers. Now, this toffee is a little bit thick so if you want thinner toffee, just put it in a bigger pan. We're just gonna break it apart, just like that. Okay, and now we're just gonna put it on the dish and I think we will arrange it and we're done. I've got this pretty little dish. I think we're gonna just arrange it right here. And there you have it, toffee at the best. Very soft crunch toffee, so it's not the hard stuff. This is really, really good. I hope you try it. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to be notified when the next video comes out. 
Merry Christmas and God bless you. Mm -hmm.